today, Adrian Peterson, well, he's expecting big things from the Vikings this upcoming season. And here's what the star running back had to say on Friday's Pro Football Talk live on NBC Sports Radio. As far as players, I feel like we have a young group with some veteran guys mixed in and some young guys that really can play some good ball. And then he compared Teddy Bridgewater to who else but the Patriots starting QB. He reminds me of a Tom Brady because Tom Brady is great at those mediocre passes. Those short passes and mid-range passes, and that's exactly what Teddy does as well. That's a very normal comparison, right, Teddy, to Tom? Well, looking at the Vikes' schedule this season, it's pretty tough in the beginning. Three of their first five games are against playoff teams from last season, but only one of their final six opponents reach the postseason in 2015. So it's very tough and loaded in the front part. So Shannon, will the Vikings make the playoffs? What's that question? What's that look on your face? Cubs, I mean, the mediocre, was that a compliment to Teddy or a slap at Brady? <laughs> but first of all, I, I think I, both actually. <laughs> you really, uh, you really should try and stay away from the comparison of you talking about, you're talking about a Mount Rushmore quarterback. You're talking about arguably one of the five greatest players to ever play in the National Football mm -hmm. League. And you're talking about your third year quarterback reminds you of him? Mm -hmm. Well, how it reminds you, that, second, that quarterback that you say he reminds you of, won a Super Bowl in his second year. I guess he needs to really get on the ball. Mm -hmm. I understand what he's doing as the leader of that team, the de facto leader of that team. He's saying, I have the utmost confidence in Teddy Bridgewater. I need to have that confidence because I need him to have confidence that we're only, yeah, I can get 14, 1,500 yards, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to throw, you're going to have to throw the football. You're going to have to make some plays in some games where they're going to stack the line and I'm going to need Teddy to be pinpoint accurate. Mm -hmm. I get what he's trying to do. I just think he went a bit overboard with it. Um, Green Bay is going to be much improved. They get Jordy Nelson back. I think they improve. We all know that Jordy Nelson made Aaron Rodgers, right? Stop, stop. Well, see, well I mean, that's see, what you see. keep, that, that's, that's what you're suggesting. Every time yeah. I try, I try my best, Skip. Mm -hmm. You always go overboard yeah. with it. Look, <laughs> Jordy's going to come back. Mm. I think so Aaron's going to come back, right? They'll be better, Prim. Mm. They'll be better defensively. I don't think that, I'm going to Right now, I know it's May, it's early. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard press looking at their schedule. And I know the last, I think Jacksonville is going to be much improved. Jacksonville won't be a pushover. I think Indy will be better. Lux take care of the football. Green Bay, Green Bay going to sweep them this year. Sweep them? Yep. So they'll win at their new stadium in Minneapolis. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That, whoa, whoa, time out. If you play a team twice and they sweep you, what does that mean, Prim? That means they're going to win both weird. games. Mm. Well, I just learned something I never knew Gee, from the Hall of Famer. You, you always, I, it took show. a Hall of Famer to you drive all, that point home. You always, you always, yeah. you see, you always got an in and an out. You always trying to back someone into a corner. <laughs> paint them oh, so you say they're going to win. Yeah, that's exactly mm. what I'm saying. Okay. Their new stadium. Yeah. The one they're building downtown with Correct. the retractable roof yeah. that they're going to play the Super Bowl in in two yep. years? Yeah, that's the one Green so, Bay is going to go and win. For the record, will the Minnesota Vikings miss the playoffs? One, you don't have two. to count. <laughs> He's literally counting. I got him at 9 and 7. Miss. I right? don't know. I don't, 9 and 7 might make it. Oh, well, 9 and 7. Oh, so you're, so you don't know. you're straddling the fence on 9 and not, 7? They won a division last year at 11 and 5, they correct? They did. Well, that's pretty good, 11 and 5. They're going to be 9 and 7. Is okay. that better than 11 and 5 or worse? Oh. You know what? I, mean, I didn't go to Prim with the Duke. Mm -hmm. I just went to Savannah State. I just, I just Listen, I was a jock, though. You went to Savannah State. Yes, Vanderbilt, it, Vanderbilt yeah, is you the guy that we should so, be talking so to. So let me see. 11 and 5. Mm -hmm. So 16, 11 and 5, mm -hmm. 9 and 7. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is more? Which makes the playoffs? 11 and 5 did get one yeah. division. I don't know division. because I don't know what everybody, because let you tell it, that 10 and 6 Cowboy, or oh, that 12 and 4 Cowboy team, they're a book it. Mm -hmm. Book it. Oh, they'll run away with the East. That's, that's easy. <laughs> we're, we're talking Super Bowl for the Cowboys. That, that's the big question. But let's get back to the Vikings. <laughs> I got the Vikings going 10 and 6, finishing a game behind Green Bay in that division. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll give you, I said they'll, they're going to come back. I like their draft. They're going to get healthier. They're going to get a lot of people. Eddie Lacy's lost some of that big gut, and maybe he'll 
have what, a big year. He, well, he, he, had, he had a lot to lose, Skip. I know. Okay, I thought, I they, were, I thought they was washing his jersey in hot water okay. and drying it in the high heat. But, but he was gaining, what? come to find out, he was gaining weight, Prim. Okay. Happens, but man. back to Adrian Peterson. I, I think he's on to something because he did say one thing yesterday in his campaign to, to build them into a contender mm -hmm. that intrigued me. It caught my ear and my eye. He what pinned a lot of it on the defense, not the offense, not the quarterback. And again, we all know that Teddy Bridgewater throws a lot of mediocre passes. We get that. So, so I thought that was apropos. But to talk about Coach Zimmer's defense is a whole other issue that I had not considered because they were fifth in the NFL last year in points allowed. That's pretty good. Seattle was first at 17.3. They were 18.9, which is a tick behind Denver at 18.5. So I'm not saying their defense was better than Denver's. It wasn't but it close. Was coming, and it's solid, and it's mm -hmm. well coached. And I will say this because I've spent a lot of time around him in my Dallas days. North Turner can really coach young quarterbacks. He can. I watched him work wonders with a young Aikman, and I'm not saying that Bridgewater's in Aikman's category or sense. Well, won't but, you put him closer okay, to Aikman okay. than, than Tom? Yeah, I will. I will. That's yeah. that's. Thank you. Bingo. But. Troy Aikman was underconfident as a young quarterback, and he was so lucky to have a big brother figure in North Turner to teach him the ropes and prop him up until he finally could figure it out and gain a hold of it himself. And I think Teddy Bridgewater played pretty well last year, and I thought he played very he well against Seattle in that play. I know it was sub-freezing, and it was no man should have been subjected to that kind of You know the, be the best thing that might help Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater? Going inside. Maybe. It well might. 20 below, the wind. I brought up the none, stadium, okay? None of that. Okay, but even in that windshield, that last drive was pretty impressive, throwing a root off and, and get him down to the chip shot field goal range. And then we know Blair Witch Project took over and that was the end of that deal. But they could have gone on to Arizona to play a playoff game. They, they were a pretty good team that was starting to feel very good about itself. Mm -hmm. And that kid they drafted in the second round, that McKenzie Alexander yes. out of Clemson. Clemson, yes. Okay. Again, I'm an Oklahoma fan, so I, I got hurt in the, in the Orange Bowl by Clemson. But he did a pretty good job of containing a Sterling Shepard who I thought was easily your, your Giants best pick in the draft yes. in the second round. Mm -hmm. And he caught seven for 87 on McKenzie, who took him a lot man to man. But he did not get behind him and get to the end zone, which he is highly capable of doing. I think McKenzie Alexander is one of those kids who doesn't time great. He doesn't test great. He can just play cornerback. Yes. And I think he will fit right into this scheme as maybe a nickel corner and, and improve it another level. Okay. So I, I got to like him on defense. I, I got to like him in this division to, to at least make the playoffs. I know the schedule looks tough. I, I think Adrian Peterson's not just blowing smoke here. I think uh, he, uh, he, he, he totally it. believes it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, All right, so you're saying 10 and 6 and playoffs. playoffs. I'm going to push you because you said earlier you weren't afraid to say that the Giants no. were going to win I, I, the I'm NFC 97, East. 97, so. I don't think they make the playoffs at 97. Okay. okay there we All go. Right. Finally, we got there we go. bottom line. That's what I'm talking Thank you. about. There's another team I don't think make the playoffs either. Who is that? No, no, yeah. No, no, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. You're on the record with that? <laughs> okay. All right. Now, boy, he's getting you know warmed what? up a minute 40 in. Now he's ready. Again. Yes. And now your 20,000 Twitter followers will be, they'll be doing dances. Well, after I beat you, after everybody saw me beat you up today, I'm going to get half I of know. your followers. You, you know what? You might have 25,000 after the show. <laughs> well, I'm excited to hear what both of you are going to say about our next topic. What's the best way to celebrate an early exit from the playoffs? A costume party? No. Did yes. We have to talk about this. Yes, we do. That's what the Spurs did. Skips Spurs. How do they feel about this? Which I one is Tim Duncan? Hardly yeah, that's a good question. This one.